expect the unexpected in ATV motocross, such as what we saw at the previous round in Pennsylvania. We're under dark skies. With Chad Weenan leading the way early, Joel Hetrick was making up ground and moving forward. But then, the skies began to open. Hetrick made more passes, and then the rain came, and he took the lead until the track became super saturated and everyone ran into problems. Hetrick himself slowing, and Bryce Ford stealing the win in the last lap. Moto2, track was muddy again, and Weenan was out front again, but this time he would hold it while Hetrick was looking to make up more ground in the mud until getting stuck and being carted a 12th place finish. The Moto win to Weenan, but through consistency, Ford an overall winner for the second time. It's just an example of anything can happen in racing. We are back, ATV Motocross from Briarcliff in Ohio. Good to be back at this racetrack. Lends itself very well to ATV racing. And everyone just hoping that this time we get good weather. Some flashbacks as we saw to the last race in Pennsylvania. There's Bigfoot, the signature big jump obstacle on this racetrack. And you can see we do have sunny skies and great conditions here for the minis and the amateurs that are out there. A couple of cool stories from the ATV community. Vincent Merman, one of our top pros, out injured right now. He's actually going to fill in as one of the referees on the amateur side. There he is patrolling the track on a Honda TRX 90. And we also have a big fundraiser here at the barbecue truck, raising money for Ernie from FTR Racing, who's battling cancer. Certainly wish him the best, and the community always comes together for great causes like that. Pro riders getting their machines situated for racing at Briarcliff. And our previous race definitely proving you never know what's going to happen, including Kevin Saar getting his first career podium in America. Let's check in with him. We are here at Priorglyph MX and uh, coming off from PBR, it was just amazing to get on the podium and uh, it gave me extra motivation for sure. And uh, I worked really hard a couple of weeks and I'm ready to go here. Track looks good, weather is nice and yeah, ready to go. Great job of the man from Estonia, consistent in the mud. We'll see how he does today in the dry. And let's now check in with eight-time champion Chad Weenan. I'm still building, and I feel like uh, last last event I was able to build some more, and uh, maybe we'll be able to get back close to the top step and battle for those wins. Uh, that's my ultimate goal this weekend, and uh, good starts, of course. Yeah, looking forward to it. And Weenan did have that second moto win the last time we went racing. Let's unroll the speed here. Got Brandon Hogue, been very fast this year. And of course, they're all chasing this man, Joel Hetrick, who could wrap up the title today. There's Nick Janusa, who's right up there leading laps quite a bit the last couple of races. Here is Weenan, as he said, building after that broken collarbone from earlier this year. Jeffrey Rastrelli, still in the hunt. Trying to get top three in the series, fighting it out with Weenan. You got Bryce Ford here, second in points at the moment, coming off that win. Wesley Wolf throwing some serious body English into it. And same thing here for Max Linquist. There's Sar the Estonian airing it out. Logan Stanfield, good corner speed. Aaron Salinas. And this is Adam Ulrich going by. It's Cody Ford on the number five. Michael Allred on the number eight. And Cesar Jimenez should be his last season racing, coming back from injury. Good to see him back out here. John Glauda just went by in the 712, and Hogue ends up being the fast qualifier today over Hetrick. ATV Motocross on Mav TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. Welcome back to Ohio as we get ready for the first moto of the day in the pro class of ATVs. Amateurs out on the track right now, a lot of them aspiring pros, dealing with the highs and lows of racing with some of the mechanical problems along the way. We've got this track prepped up and ready. And again, we might have a championship crown for Joel Hetrick. 
But Hedrick not on the podium at the last race after bad luck in the mud. It was Bryce Ford taking advantage of that. Now has two career overall wins and second in points. Um, you know, I'm really excited for this race. It, it looks like it's going to be a good one. I don't necessarily like the hard pack tracks, but it, it takes me out of my comfort zone, and I'm sure it takes everyone else out of theirs. So just uh, really excited to keep the momentum going I've had all year and, and uh, try to get it back up on the podium. But, yeah, the track looks amazing uh, from practice. The, the sand is awesome. Uh, I love the Bigfoot. It's, it's a fun jump. And just really excited to go into this one and, and give it my all and just try to keep the momentum rolling into Loretta's. Yeah, San Loretta Lins, yeah. the Dirt Days National will be the final round of the seasons. We've got one to go before that right here. So let's get ready for the first photo of the day. Nick Januska going to carry the Rocky Mountain ATV and C on board, and we're racing. Terrible jump out of the line there for Janusa, and it's Brandon Hogue with the whole shot. Man, has he turned things around. Oh, that was all red down in turn one. Hogue has been phenomenal in the second half of this season. Had the fast qualifying time today. The starts have been good. I hope Allred's okay. Janusa with that bad jump got tangled in the mess, and that's what happens when you're back there. But right now it's Hogue to the lead, and it looks like Hedrick was second, but look at this. Hogue is even pulling away from Hedrick. This dude is on fire. Seldom do you see someone who can just purely outpace Joel Hetrick, I don't know if he can do it for the whole moto, but you don't see anyone do it even for a quarter of a lap or a half a lap, but that's exactly what Hogue is doing right now. It looks like Rastrelli up to third. Oh, that's bad for Allred. Hope he's going to be okay. Meanwhile, Janusa is going to be coming through traffic with that onboard. See how that looks? I'm sure he'd like to have clear racetrack ahead of him. Like this guy does, Brandon Hogue letting it fly. Weaning up to fourth. I think that was the two of Linquist coming through next. Now Hedrick trying to put the screws to Hogue and go after the lead. Man, you love to see this. Hogue has always had so much potential. It's been up and down not just on a week-to-week -week basis, but often a year-to-year -year basis, just trying to get the right equipment, the right right ride, uh, getting the right metal frame. Luck, of course, playing a factor, but lately, he has been as good as ever. It was great last season. This beginning of the season, probably not what he wanted, but now this guy is leading the best in the business. And look, Hedrick still can't quite get to the rear tires of Hogue. This dude is for real. And good job to Estrelli. I think he's closing the gap a bit up on Hetrick. Now Hetrick starting to respond, going after Hogue for the lead. Second time he's made a run at him, but not quite close enough right now. And as always, just because you get there, making the pass is going to be difficult. And these are the steps that you're looking for Hogue, Bright Ford, and the rest of these riders to make. There's been so much dominance in this series by Wienan, and especially as of late, Hetrick. Can they do it straight up? And it's so hard to take that last step, confidence-wise. Janusa right now making passes, as we expected, coming through. That'll be fun to watch. Meanwhile, Hetrick now closer to Hogue than he has been in any point of this race, besides the start, of course. Oh, he just sliced from outside to in, so now he's looking for running room. And as Hetrick has picked it up, he's pulled away. Ford up to fifth, but now it's a two rider duel for the lead. Here it is around the outside. Hetrick's got it. Well, he made short work of Hogue once he got there, the fastest man in the world. Hard to hold back. Well, they're certainly not giving up. Joel Hetrick at one point had an 11 moto win streak here in this ATV National Motocross Championship. That went up in smoke or steam in the mud at our last race. But the cool thing is to see these riders hanging in there and trying to keep the pressure on. And that's what Brandon Hogue has done. He led a couple laps. Hetrick got around him and now Hogue is staying there. Big battles throughout. You've got Janusa still trying to make up ground. 
after getting involved in a first turn crash. Here's the fight between Ford, Rastrelli, Weenan, third, fourth, fifth. And we have seen those guys battling for podium spots quite a bit this year. But the big difference maker is with the injury to Weenan early in the season, a couple of these boys have been able to knock him back a spot. He's third at points behind Ford. He's third in this race behind Ho. And can Ho hold on? Can he prevent this trio from getting to him? And trying to stay with Hetrick is the best way to do that. Think about what's ahead and not what's behind. And boy, is he ever still in striking distance of your leader. And you don't see him in this shot. The Rastrelli, Wien, and Ford battle continues. Janusa still moving up. Down to the inside there. Now we can see the gap, and it is huge. Still did not see third place coming into that shot until the very, very end. So Hope did what he needed to do. He'd love to win the moto, but by simply battling Hetrick, he has made his life a lot easier to even finish second. And he's still right there. Weenan getting a little impatient and makes the move on Rastrelli. You can sense that the eight-time champion was trying to ramp it up. Here's Rastrelli right back at him. Oh, Adam Ulrich. You heard the panic rev. And he endoed, lucky to get away from that one on the Bigfoot jump. You do not want to go over the falls there. He did. He's saying he's okay. Man, you hear that panic rev, and that just immediately draws the ears, draws the eye. What is going on? And that could have been very bad. Lucky for Adam, it was not. Back to Hetrick. And same thing, Hetrick passes Hogue. Hogue doesn't let him go. Weenan passes Rostrelli, Rostrelli all over. Weenan to try to make the move right back at him. Oh, and he got right up against the track marker there. You gotta be careful. Don't wanna get penalized for that. But boy, he's got that dog in him right now. Jeffrey Rostrelli, the veteran out of Florida, keeping Weenan in sight all the way to the end. Meanwhile, Hedrick, a big step toward the title. If he can win this moto. Janusa has climbed all the way up past half the riders in this race, up to seventh. As Hetrick with the white flag flying is in position. And Weenan has pulled away just a bit from Rastrelli. Now Ford is right there, challenging. Hetrick working on another moto win. He's back on top in ATV motocross and another step closer to the title. And Weenan is going to win that battle for third over Rastrelli and Ford, but what a ride by Brandon Hogue to take second. And now we get ready for the second moto. There's Ford and Hetrick throwing down here. Even though championship could be coming Hetrick's way, still get a lot of camaraderie there at the line. 30-second card is up, and we're racing. Hogue looking for another SSI decals hole shot, and he has it. But it got shuffled real quick. Hetrick up to second. Rastrelli and Wien in there as well. A better start for Janusa, not great, but better than Moto One. And you see how dry this track is in some sections. Whatever it is, it has worked brilliantly for Hogue, who's putting in one of his better rides. I don't want to say best ride ever because we have seen him mix it up like this before. But you still got to shout it out when you see it. I mean, there's some serious firepower behind him. And he again has put a little bit of distance between himself and the field. As they say, who's going to blink first in this battle? Great job slipping and sliding on that hard pack for Hogue. Now we're Strelly weaning a lot closer in this moto than they were in moto one. Then it's Janusa, then Ford. Well, 
Looks like Hetrick going to try to close the gap on Hogue. And Hogue responding. Now, the first moto, Hetrick did have a lap time about a half second quicker than Hogue and then even faster than everyone else. It's coming in bursts, but oh no! Hogue throws it away! Lit up the rear tire, spun sideways, and early in the race, everyone is with you, and that means they're all going by. Oh, what could have been, and now the problem is the overall podium might be gone after he's trying to win this moto. Gotta give him credit for going for it. Rastrelli is right there to apply pressure to Hetrick. And there's Weenan as well. And it looks like Weenan trying to make a pass. Hogue on the comeback run in 10th. Did Weenan make that move? Bit of a split line back there. No, he could not make the move on Rastrelli. Oh, and cutting across the line there is Weenan to make the pass. And Rastrelli trying to come right back on it. No, can't get it done. They bump in the corner. I don't think Jeffrey was happy about that. Weenan came across the split lane where there are some track markers. I'm not sure how they're going to rule that. And you see the bumping and banging there with Janusa and Ford, who's made the move on him just like what we saw from Weenan and Rastrelli, and Rastrelli is determined to get him back. Stay with us. ATV Motocross is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. Battle is on here at Briarcliff. Brandon Hogue, your early race leader, crashed. Joel Hetrick took the lead. Oh, Logan Stanfield has now gone down hard. There is Hogue up in ninth. Had him in 14th at one point after the crash. Hetrick is long gone, but this battle is raging. And winning again across that center line. On board with Janusa, who has lost a little bit of ground to Ford. Ford starting to close on Rastrelli, and we have seen so many Ford and Rastrelli battles the last couple of seasons. And those split lanes, it is really hard to figure out which line is fastest and which line they're taking. And winning, keeping Hedrick in sight. Hedrick on the Phoenix Racing Yamaha, great racing operation there. And now they have this Yamaha dialed in. The speed has always been there, but the consistency is the difference as Hedrick working on a fourth ATV national title, but more importantly, his second in a row. Every time he gets one, you think it's over. He's about to go on a streak. But sometimes the bad luck that has opened the door several times for Weenan, who has been so consistent through the years. Not this time, though. Hetrick got through his tough round, which is always the opener at Daytona, got through that, and has really not put a wheel wrong very much this year. A couple incidents out of his control. First turn tangle up with Weenan, and then the mud race. Watch this here. Looks like Ford is around Rastrelli. This next battle coming in, that is Janusa. Linquist has caught Janusa. So Janusa, who was in the fight with Ford earlier, now has his hands full with Linquist. And Hedrick working on a championship now. What a way to do it with a 1-1. He was not happy at our last race, didn't know that Ford was close to him in the last lap, and that cost him a moto win in the mud, because he was just nursing the machine home, not really pushing at all. 
And then second moto got stuck. So he lost a couple of points there. And you don't want to have to take it down to the last round. And it looked like that might happen, but he has bounced back huge today and looking to wrap it up before we get to Loretta's. Ford is there in third. Rastrelli ever determined to stay with him. Well, Stanfield, good to see him running. Remember, I think he had a crash earlier. I believe it was a crash. And good to see he's okay. At least enough to get it to the line. I'm curious about the split line. We saw Weenan jumping from one side to the other. And then eventually Rastrelli and Ford started doing the same. And we are now hearing there's probably penalties coming. Shout out to Ho getting all the way back up to seventh after leading this one early. That would have been a podium for sure. If not for the crash, would have liked to have taken the fight to Hedrick as well. Hedrick, meanwhile, looking for the 1-1 end, wrapping up the title. But I believe that Janusa is going to end up being credited with second in this moto due to the penalties for Wien and Rastrelli and Ford. Meanwhile, checkered flag is out. Winner and once again champion of ATV Motocross is Joel Hetrick. And there's the number one plate from Harv Whipple. Here are the revised results. It's a 1 1 for Hetrick. Wienan will still finish second overall. Janusa third. Locked up number four here at Briarcliff, man. Just. Uh... It's an emotional feeling. It's, it's something I can't describe. Um, you work so hard for something and, and all the hard work pays off. And for me, this is my first back-to-back -back championship, uh, my fourth championship. So it's just beyond emotion, um, holding back tears, honestly. This is just it's the coolest thing. I've raced for my entire life and uh, this means the world to me. And I think everybody knows that. I work hard for that and uh, I want to be the best. So we're, we're on the right track. and four-time national champion at the pro level. Can't, can't argue with that. So I'm just so happy and can't thank the fans and, and my crew enough for the support and uh, positive energy they bring to the track. And uh, we're looking forward to Loretta's try to go top it off with a win and, and have fun obviously doing it. Let's give you the CST Tires race recap. Moto one, big crash for Michael Allred that held up Janusa and several other riders. But the main story was Brandon Hogue, an incredible run early, got away from Hetrick. Hetrick able to reel him back in and eventually take the lead, but they left this battle behind, which was Wienan, Rastrelli, and Ford. Hetrick, the Moto win. We go to Moto 2. Another great start for Hope and great racing early on, but it didn't last very long. Just when it looked like he might build up a lead again, he spins out and goes down. That allows Hetrick to take the lead. And then the pressure point, watch the line coming up here from Wienan from one side of the track to the other. Rastrelli picked up on it. They would be penalized for that. Rastrelli that bumps him off the podium. Wienan scores still good enough for second overall. Janusa third. There's the proud Hetrick family. And that points lead is insurmountable. Joel Hetrick is the back-to-back -back ATV National Motocross champion. We have one race to go. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching. Congrats to Joel Hetrick.